What's going on YouTubers? Welcome to another video. So I wanted to do a rundown with you guys of a potential change I might make here in the DBZ display, a video game display more or less. Uh, the idea is I'm thinking that I don't want this to be Dragon Ball Z. I want Dragon Ball Z to end right here at this garage shelf, but I want it to continue right here. So this is all gonna be Dragon Ball Z, and then this is gonna be video games. I think it will work just a little bit better. There is a con to it. Uh, I'll have one fourth on left and right, not all technically kind of together. Uh, so that is one kind of flaw. As of right now, the current plan is to just do Prime 1 Vegeta, Prime 1 Goku. Uh, and I was actually just going to keep like video game stuff underneath. And I was also going to put a statue inside there. So we basically can fit one, two, three, four statues. Uh, if we change the display over here, there's definitely some big pros. So pro one... I'm able to fit more DBZ statues, and I think color-wise it looked probably a little bit better having the colorful DBZ all throughout this display. You know, DBZ is very colorful, that is one thing I love about it, how vibrant these statues are. So right now we are planning Khaleesi, Khaleesi bust, and we have my Witcher statues. So this room, for the most part, is the DBZ video game room. However, I do have a few movie statues. I mean, Bruce Lee is technically movie. Warcraft is movie from a video game. Dastin is, you know, a movie from a video game. And then everything else is video game purely. So Khaleesi, granted there are Game of Thrones video games, you know, built after the TV show, but the origin content is a freaking TV show, not a video game. Where Prince of Persia, Warcraft, the origin content is a video game. And then Bruce Lee, yeah, there's video games, but it's movie. However, that's like the transition into hallway, so it's forgivable. Now, Khaleesi, if we move her, the most likely place I would probably do her, do her, that's what she said. Uh, well, first off, I'd change that shelf to a deeper shelf and then move that shelf right there, not a glass shelf. Uh, basically, this entire display, the Devil May Cry, everything underneath is going to go right here. And then that display will be one of those garage shelves. And I'd probably do, uh, honestly, I might think of doing Aloy, my Horizon Zero Dawn top shelf. And underneath, maybe do Khaleesi with Jon Snow. Or just Khaleesi and then do like Final Fantasy VII diorama next to it. You know, and then do Witcher down low. Uh, like right there, I could do Witcher, for example or which are right there and move those there. there. There's a lot of possibilities, but you know, I don't think a Khaleesi bust would work on this wall unless I did it middle. However, I'm kind of thinking no Khaleesi bust just cause I don't want to wait 15 years and spend $20,000 on it. Uh, and we just do Jon Snow, which is shipping in probably less than a year. And he does look absolutely fantastic. Or we just do Khaleesi by herself because she is, you know, my favorite character. I like Jon Snow, but Khaleesi is the show for me. You know, she's like the only character I truly care to collect from Game of Thrones. So we just keep her as a standalone, and then we can do Final Fantasy VII diorama, which is going to be huge. Probably as big as her right next to it in a display down there. And then I'd probably move Ellie down low and put Master Chief back up top. Uh, you know, because he needs to be displayed up top. Uh, but that is just one uh, possible consideration. And then by doing so, it does allow me to do my DBZ here. Now, let me show you kind of the two potential options I've come up with. So I've done some Photoshop. So here is one option. Now, not that Goku poster, that's just there, but a DBZ poster behind with Prime 1 Goku, Tsume Frieza, Prime 1 Vegeta. Those, to me, are really the three main stars of Dragon Ball Z. Goku, Vegeta, and Frieza. Frieza, the best villain. Goku and Vegeta, the two main stars. Underneath, I could do my Tsume Broly, and then KD, Goku vs. Geneva. Two Goku vs. Dioramas. So that could definitely work, and I think those two would pair nicely, even though Tsume Broly's a lot taller. The other one's quite wide. You know, it's like 
I think 28 inches wide. But this would fit and work. And I think it would look good. The other alternative is Goku Bust by KD. So we do Tsume Frieza down low next to Tsume Broly, which also works fantastic, I think. You know, both being Tsume. And then you just do KD Goku Bust between Goku and Vegeta with a, you know, some sort of Goku poster likely in the middle like that. And this is how it would look with the Khaleesi Bust. You know, if I ever got that. So here it is. Goku Bust by KD. Now this bust is just about sold out. So if I'm going to pull the trigger, I need to do it immediately. Uh, I do think it's absolutely fantastic. It's definitely better than J. Ross Goku Bust. It, it's going to have a huge presence because it's like 33 inches tall. So it's like an Infinity Studios bust height wise. Uh, so it's definitely going to be a very big bust. Very impressive. Beautiful paint job and sculpt. And be the best Goku Bust all around. So now we just have to question ourselves, are, you know, is that the best route? It would give me two Goku Busts, because I'm not going to sell that bust. You know, this bus holds its own purpose. This works as my Goku vs. Vegeta display. And then down low is the four main sagas. You know, Frieza, Android, Boo, and Cell. Cell and Boo. <laughs> so, you know, once I get KD Trunks, KD Vegeta Final Flash, KD Cell Version 2, KD Gohan one Arm Kamehameha, KD Goku Kamehameha, this display is 100% complete. I couldn't really add anything, and I likely wouldn't change anything. So, yeah, it pretty much is done at that point. So, I'd still probably just keep Trunks here as an Easter egg, just because I want to have a classic Trunks, although I could probably fit a Trunks in this display. Maybe, I'm not, it'd probably look a little bit, maybe out of place, I don't know. Uh, just because if you have a bust, you'd need to have one on each side or two on each side. So I'd have to do like, Goku and Gohan, Vegeta and Trunks, but I probably couldn't fit all that unless the Gohan had a very small base, like Trunks. So, for now, uh, we need to, you know, make the decision on whether... We want to keep current plan and truly wait for Khaleesi bus, which I just feel like is so far away. And you know it's going to be probably $6,000, you know, which I'm sure the bust will be worth it. But here's the thing. It's not going to be up for pre-order for probably two more years. And by the time that time comes, inflation will, you know, statue prices could be double by then. So it could be a $10,000 bust by then, and then you have the wait time for the bust, which if we're looking at Wonder Woman four years, Khaleesi by then will probably be five to seven years. So in reality, this could be 10 years away. Like that's not a joke. 10 years away from getting that bust. Which when I think about that, I'm like, I don't wanna still be collecting 10 years from now. You know, I'm hoping that my final pre-order, like bust at least, is going to be Doctor Strange or Thor from Queen. You know, and they have a quicker production time. And both those will be up for pre-order this year. You know, those are likely my final busts. Doctor Strange and Thor depends on which version. But it could be Doctor Strange my final bus pre-order. So, yeah. Really leaning towards not doing Khaleesi just because I don't trust Infinity Studios. Queen does have Game of Thrones license, so they could do a Khaleesi bust. So I could just wait on them. Uh, but for now, I'm thinking Dragon Ball Z will fit better here. You know, moving to Sume Broly and doing Prime 1 Goku. One nice thing as well as doing Prime 1 Goku here is, A, I'm going to have a lot more space than that little glass shelf. So I could also display, like, his bus stand I got by, I forgot the name of the company, but I got a bus stand for all three heads. And I won't have a Goku Kamehameha there and there, which I think will look repetitive. You know, it's like on each end of Goku Kamehameha. At least here, it's on the opposite side of the room, more or less the opposite side. So it'll work much better having a Goku Kamehameha in this display and in this display. And technically in this display, I got one Goku there, one Goku there doing Kamehameha. So I think it would work better having a Goku right there. Separating them, plus Tsume Frieza, which I know I'm going to, you know, get that. And I 
will want two Frieza's. And over here, if I was to put Tsume Frieza, it'd have to go down low, which probably would not look very good right there. It'd look much better there being more spacious. So... Anyways, that is uh, kind of my thinking process. I need to order a deeper garage shelf to put right here, switch this here. Uh, so that will take, you know, at least a week to get that done and taken care of. But I'm leaning towards, you know, if I have to choose between those two displays, I mean, Goku bus does make me have two Goku bus, which trying to stay away from two bust of the same character. You know, I really am trying to stay away from that. Like, I'm even questioning if I should get the second Queen Studios Iron Man bust. But they both serve their purposes. So, it's a tough one for sure. KD Janemba will definitely be an amazing statue. Will be better than Goku bust? Huh. That's also questionable. So, let me know your thoughts and opinions below. I also posted this in my DBZ Resin Collectors Facebook group, so feel free to join if you haven't. You know, we're up, I think, 16,000 members now in that group. Anyways, folks, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.